Probably. Mm. What, was card. what was close? Frosted strawberry. Frosted no frost. strawberry. Mm. I'm lucky. I got my mom. She brought me my Dutch snacks, so you know. We good. It's called Kaitnota. It's just like chocolate cookie ish thing. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good. Easy to get that? No. no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. She did. She brought me a bunch. <laughs> you guys get back there. Okay. Whoever wants to start. I asked this to Tyler after the last game. Where do you think you guys need to improve the most moving forward? Um, I feel like coming out the game uh, with more focus, um, be sharper, and then consistency. I feel like Coach Tang says a lot. If you can do it once, you can do it all the time. And I feel like that's what we have to do uh, against teams, no matter the level or competition. <clears throat> Why do you think Tyler Perry has been such a good clutch here for you guys? Um, I mean, I've been seeing it all summer and, you know, preseason. Um, he's a big time shot taker and maker. Um, you know, for him to step up in that moment, take us overtime was big time. But, you know, he's been making big shots all year long. So we trust in him. And uh, I mean, he executed. When you guys have had some of your defensive mistakes or errors this year, what's kind of been the cause or the culprit? Um, you say what's the, what's the reason for that? Yeah. Um, I feel like communi uh, communication. Um, if we talk out there, we can fix everything. Even if we mess up, we can just talk it out and figure it out from there. But if everybody quiet. And nobody's on the same page. We all just kind of running around. Um, so yeah, communicating out there. What's kind of your take on the last two games when you win both, but neither one really goes the way you want? Right. Um, um, I mean, yeah, like you said, we won both in overtime, um, but I feel like we should have beat both in regulation. Um, I think it all starts with preparation and shoot around and then you know like I said coming out strong and focused from the beginning and not waiting till the end of the game where we figure out oh it's close like we gotta you know come on and win this game um, we gotta come out with that winning mentality we have in overtime uh, from the jump I feel like that's really important coach mentioned that he doesn't like to see a team his team's peak too early is, is that anything he talks to you guys about as far as being Making just maybe small steps? Um, yes. I mean, I also remember it from last year. Um, I don't remember him saying it this year as much yet, but uh, I remember last year when we went on a great run and came out the Cayman Islands and, you know, felt good about ourselves. And we had that loss against Butler. Uh, I remember it by him saying, like, what you just mentioned about peaking too early. Uh, it's about getting to March. So we got time to build, but at the same time, we, we try and get better every day uh, to prepare for those moments. So we have to start now by doing that. Just in terms of the progression, going back to last year, like you mentioned, peaking too early, um, where do you feel like this team is right now compared to like one year ago today in the early December? Um, I don't know. I'm not really good at comparing uh, two different teams. It's, you know, two different teams, uh, different players, a different style. It's kind of hard to compare those two. Um, I mean, yeah, I feel like we're doing a good job. We're going the right way. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's that. Running, running a different offense this year, has that taken time for the game to slow down for you guys on that end of the floor? Um. Not necessarily. We're still trying to push the tempo, you know, get quick, easy buckets if we can. But, um, yeah, nah, not necessarily. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on playing a name team like Villanova? Um, I mean, it's fun. It's exciting. Um, anytime you play against a big time school like that, uh, you know, everybody's focused, everybody's locked in and uh, ready for the challenge. I feel like you can tell them practice the energy and focus that's there. Uh, everybody's excited for this game. Anything else? 
Speaking of that, what are you looking forward to from the fans tomorrow? I mean, for fans. Yeah. Um. I mean, I expect them to come out with energy as well. You know, what they call it the octagon, octagon of doom. Uh, I expect that to be in play. Uh, I expect the fans to be out there early with a lot of energy and, you know, get this thing rocking. Awesome. Thanks, David. Thanks, sir. David. Appreciate, it. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Oh.